So the Samsung Galaxy Tab S11 has just came out, and I'll show you a quick layout on exactly how to use this particular tablet. Whether you've never used an Android tablet before or you have some experience, this should be a good walkthrough and a good introduction on exactly how to use your Tab S11. Now, number one, even though this is a big tablet, it might always stay in home or in your book bag, I would still recommend putting a case on your tablet and a screen protector on your tablet as well. You never know what can happen. This thing can randomly drop and it can crack all over. So and they're pretty pricey. So I'd recommend putting some sort of a screen protector on your tablet as well as a case that would definitely help protect this type of device and your investment long-term. Now on the front, you're getting a beautiful display. There's a couple of different ways to kind of hold it and kind of look at it. You have a front facing camera right at the front. You also have a little bit of bezel all throughout your particular device. Now at the top portion, depending on how you look at it, you do have your buttons. So you have a power button as well as a volume down button. So that's something easy. You can just kind of quickly click on the volume down or power button right there. You also have a little bit of a SIM card or SD card slot right on the side, depending on your model. So you can go through and insert that on that side. On the bottom right or the bottom, you have a USB type C port. This is your charging port as well as your speaker grills. So you can go through, connect your speakers here or you know, plug in your USB type C port there. And that's something that's really cool. On the bottom, you don't really have anything else, just like an accessory option. And then you also have on the other side, just extra speaker grills. On the bottom, you have your camera, Samsung logo, and a little bit of like an accessory port as well. If you have certain accessories to connect to it, you can go and connect to it there. And at a high level, that is kind of the outside of your Galaxy Tab S11. Now, with that being said, there's a couple of ways to turn on your Tab S11. You can either double tap on the display to go ahead and kind of turn it on, or you can tap onto that power button that we have at the top. So you can tap onto that power button to turn it on, or you can double tap on the display to turn it on. It's kind of up to you. Now, when you first open it up, you're going to have your lock screen. This lock screen is going to contain high level information for your particular device. So in the top, you'll have your status bar right here, as well as your battery icon in the top right. You'll have your calendar, your date, and your time right here, some widgets, and you'll also have any notifications. Some notifications that you get inside of your tablet will show up right here. So you can go through and kind of go through it and kind of see that information right there. In the bottom left, you'll have your quick toggles and you can customize everything here by holding down on your lock screen. If you hold down on your lock screen, you will come into this page, which will allow you to customize your entire lock screen here. So if you go ahead and want to, you can tap on the time up here and you can modify how it pretty much is portrayed on your particular device. You can click on the toggles in the bottom if you wanna go and change these things out too. So it kind of is up to you how you want to kind of change it. But those are some high level things you can kind of do here to change out your particular tablet from that side, which is actually something that's really, really cool. Whenever you're done, you can click on done to the top right and it will go and save it. And then if you want to come back home, you can swipe up and you will come into your home screen. We were just in the lock screen. Now we're in the home screen. Your home screen will always take you home. Whenever you come home, it's always going to look like this. So at the top, we still have our status bar. It's gonna show us again, quick information of the status of our device. And then we're gonna have widgets in our home screen. So our home screen is consistent of widgets and applications. So we can have whatever things we want inside of our home screen. You can move and remove and delete and add anything you want to inside of here that's compatible. If you wanna move things around, all you have to do, hold down on a widget or an application, and you can go ahead and move it around with your finger. Once you let go, it's going to stay in that spot. You can resize a widget like this if it's compatible. You can also hold down on a widget or application like this, and you can remove it from your home screen. You have a remove option, a you know settings option right there too. And you can do that with applications as well. You can hold down on an application, you can move it around, and you can also go through and just hold it down one time, click on remove. It won't delete it from your phone or your tablet. It will just remove it from the home screen. Now the dock will stay consistent. Whatever page you go to, the dock will stay the same. So it's important for you to go through, change out the dock whichever way you want to, but that is something to kind of keep in mind. If you want to see all the applications you currently have inside of your Samsung Galaxy Tab S11, you can grab it from the bottom, your home screen, and you swipe up at the top and you'll see all the applications you have. So you can go through, view every single app that you have or most of the applications you have inside of your Tab S11. 
You also have a search bar at the bottom. If you want to search for a specific app, you can tap right inside of the search bar and you can search for applications, you can search for files, you can search for all of those things. Now, when you're in a tab like this and you want to go back home, there's a really easy way to go back home. If you look at the bottom right, there's this little circle button. If you ever get stuck anywhere and you want to go back to your home screen, all you have to do is tap onto that circular button, which is the home button, right there. So no matter which application you're in, if you're in the Photos app, you can click on that home button to come home. Same thing with the Gaming Hub, whichever application you're in, once you're done using it, you're done reading it, click on that home tab right there and it will always take you home. Now, sometimes you might be in an application and you might need to go back to the previous page. So maybe you don't wanna go home, but you wanna go back to the previous page. Let's say we're inside of the Google Play Store. We tap on TikTok, but we wanna go back to the previous page. To do that, we can click on that back button that is right there in the bottom right. Tap on that back button and you will come to the previous page. Sometimes some applications might have arrows in the top left as well. You can also tap on that, but you can kind of figure it out whichever way you want to. If you wanna see all the applications that you recently have gone into, you can tap onto that Recents button that should be down there. So there should be a little Recents button at the bottom. You can tap onto that Recents button and you'll see all the applications that you've currently have gone into. So these are not all the applications you have inside of your tablet, but it's all the applications you've recently opened, which is another really cool thing you can kind of get into as well. Then you can go back home and you can see your tablet this way. Now, if you wanna see all the different types of notifications and things that you have inside of your particular tablet, you could swipe down from the top left, just like this, and you will see all the notifications and quick toggles that you have, at least your settings toggles, inside of your particular notification drawer. You can see your notification settings. You can also clear out all your notifications right there. So if you get a text or a message or something like that, that should come into the top left. Now, if you wanna go through and you want to see your quick toggles, you can swipe down from the top right corner and it will come into your, to your toggles here. So this is going to be consistent of pretty easy things you can change within your tablet. You can change the sound of your particular tablet. You can go through and modify a lot of different things inside of this particular tablet as well. You can turn on or off Bluetooth. Like there's an unlimited amount of things you can kind of do here. And it is actually very cool because it gives you that type of capability right then and there, which is genuinely something that's really awesome. So you can go through and modify these toggles. You can also turn on or off your tablet here, go into settings and so many other things. Now, one other thing I wanna show you is the settings application. This is a very important app that I'd recommend every single one of you to kind of get used to going into. So if we swipe down from the top, you will basically see this settings application right there. What I'd recommend doing is kind of going through, going into your settings application and just familiarizing yourself within this particular app because there's a lot of stuff within this application. You can manage your Wi-Fi connections, display and battery settings, your home and lock screen settings, security stuff, your fingerprints, application settings. So just go through here, just you know, kind of get used to going into this application. One of the big things here is this software update panel. Every single person watching this, I'd recommend doing this. Go inside of your software update panel inside of your settings application, tap on it, tap on download and install. And I would highly recommend downloading and installing the latest update available for your device. No matter what type of tablet you have, no matter what Android phone you have, I would recommend going through updating your particular tablet because that's going to give you the most recent security updates, most amount of features. And by the time you buy your Tab S11, you might already have some you know, updates available for it, even if it's brand new. So in terms of that, that kind of covers up this tutorial on how to use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S11. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Swollen. Well